Hello there. My name is Tiffany, Tiffany Wood. I've been an Anasara yoga teacher for, my gosh, since 1997. And um, I'm so happy to have you here in this short video where we'll take on a sequence for stress relief. It's a huge uh, conundrum in our culture, right? The, the stress that we live with, the stress we create, it just is so we need to find a way to mitigate it. So I'm gonna invite you to bring a blanket and uh, you can fold it, fold it in half and then Fold it in half again. So you've got a nice uh, trying, uh, rectangle. From there, we're gonna come to your knees and uh, just by resting your forehead down on the sticky mat, you can pull the blanket up behind the backs of your knees and then help yourself to sit up right. So you're going to get a little smash in your hamstrings, a little smash in your calf muscles, allow the belly button to gently pull back and the buttocks flesh to pull down. Your eyes and your chin become more level. And let your hands rest right on your thighs. And now we'll just you can choose to either close your eyes or keep them softly open, but the gaze downward on the earth. And take a gentle mudra where the two fists come into what I call soft fists. And then you'll bring your thumb tips together. Let your knuckles rest right on the tops of your thighs. If this position is not comfortable for your knees, prop yourself up higher with a couple of blocks. Or you can cross your ankles and sit down with your feet in front of you, most likely sitting on a blanket. And we'll just slow down and lengthen out your exhalations and really come into your sense of presence. Whatever you got going on in your life that brought you to this right here, right now, honor it. <laughs> All the good, all the challenges, all the ups, all the downs. And find a way to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. May not understand why you're saying thank you, <laughs> but can you breathe with it and give it some acceptance? Mm. One more good round of breath. And then we'll slowly rock forward. That blanket may or may not be of use to you in a little while. So you'll put that back to where it could be handy. We'll take two blocks if you have them underneath your hands. Go ahead and step your left foot forward. Lift your back knee and let that calf muscle that you just mashed up, let it stretch out by pushing through the ball of your foot reaching through your back heel. And then if you need more balance, right knee will go on the floor. Climb yourself up. Hands remain on your front left thigh, eyes on the earth. If you're ready, you'll extend the right arm in front of you, plug it into your heart space from arm fingertips to armpit, and then maybe lift your right arm up. Find a little bit of length through the front of your belly and your front right thigh. Inhale, hands to the blocks. Exhale, step forward. Side body is really long, and for a lot of us, uh, we need to come higher up on the blocks so that you can deepen your breath and put some curve in your lower back. Inhale, step your left foot back. 
If you need to bring the left knee down, go ahead and do that. And just drop in and feel your body get stronger and more anchored from the muscles hugging to your bones and then the bones pushing down into the earth. I study breath resonant, breath, like, hear your breath in through your nose as you extend your left arm, out through your nose as you plug your left arm into your shoulder socket, in through your nose as you lift the left arm. And I want you to find a gentle pulsation here where the, the posture is not static, just like your life. There's energy moving into you and then from you back out. And please bring that left hand down, right hand down. From here, you're gonna step forward, lengthen your spine. Hands to your hips, inhale, rise up. Bring your hands to your heart. And with hands to what is affectionately known as prayer pose by a lot of yogis, uh, it's just a way of honoring, you know, just coming back in and saying, you know what, I'm going to hold whatever's going on in my life with reverence. Placing your hands to your hips. Bend your knees, press your hips back and your heart forward. Hands to your blocks or to the floor. Inhale, right leg back. Turn your right heel to the floor. If you'd like, you'll slide your left block back so that when you straighten your front left leg, your shin and your forearm unite. Pause here with your heart bowing forward. And then draw your legs to the midline between them. Firm the distant, the space between your feet by squeezing in. Press right thigh bone back and draw your left buttocks under. And that shoulder blade on the left side can gently open your heart up. Reach up, touch the sky with your right arm. And we'll take five good breaths. Oh, find what feels good here. Inhale, lunge. Step forward. Inhale, right leg back. So yoga for stress, we leave for find your peace. I mean, it'd be a good way to say that too. And it's just about taking your time, turn your left heel down, slide your right hand back so that when you straighten your leg, you find your own support. That's a, a way to relieve some stress. Find some, the strength of your muscles, the support of your bones, left hand to your hip. And as you start to roll the right shoulder underneath the heart space, pull your throat back, ears back. And as you lift left arm, Find the place where your gaze goes, where there is no strain or stress in the neck. You can just let it go. Trust your legs, make them firm and powerful. Mm. One more round of breath. Inhale, left hand down, left heel lifts, lunge. Then we're gonna take a pigeon pose, and we'll do that by heel toeing, right foot towards your left wrist. Pull the left heel back and then point your toes, set the shin down. Yeah, there you go. And then walk the left knee a little further back. And you wanna make sure that you're in a place where it's no strain on your knee. Bow the heart forward, but stay up on strong straight arms, please. Do tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and turn that femur bone on the back leg inward so your left hip rolls forward a little bit. Ah. Breathe into whatever your right hip is saying and tell your body thank you for showing up. Showing up to walk the path that you walk. Showing up for doing something good for yourself right here, right now.
take one block, place it right in front of your front right shin and bring both hands to that block. So it could be on low, it could be on medium. Push the block down and forward until your belly button can pull to your lower back. Maintain that, anchor through the left hand, reach the anchor through your right hand, reach your left arm forward and plug the left arm bone into your shoulder. Now root, root, root through your hips. If this is too much, it's too much. If it caused your breath to get short, choppy, erratic, holding your breath, bring the arm down and come back to the breath. That's the most important. Lifting up and doing all that, not as important, but it does feel good for some of us, yeah? Inhale, left hand down. Right hand down. Slide the back knee in a little bit. Come to all fours. Take a cat tilt. And a cow tilt. And a cat. And a cow. May not be the way that you're used to getting into pigeon, but it's one way. We'll step the left foot forward like a lunge. Heel toe the left foot towards your right wrist. Point the toe and come down to your shin. Now see if you can make the shin and the heel and the toes all level. Pick up your right knee, turn that femur bone inward and move it a little further back. And we'll come into a sweet bow in where the arms stay straight. This could be the pose that your body wants to stay in for the remainder of the of particular pose. Mm, feel your breath. Let a nice long exhalation come out through your mouth. And we'll bring a block on medium, both hands to the block. Pull the lower belly in and towards the back. Maintain that. Root through left hand, extend right arm. So that could also be a bust up here. And we'll plug in, push down through the legs and rise up into the heart. Now let your breath go into the pose and roam around and find the spots where you need a little more uh, support and love. Inhale, bring that hand down. Both hands down and forward. Slide the left knee back to meet the right knee. All fours for cat. And a sweet open hearted cow. And cat. Brush the hands back. Keep the thighs back as you pull your hands to your upper uh, front pockets. Thighs back. Now your tailbone is right at the base of your sacrum. Draw the tailbone down. Belly button back and some cactus arms. Shake out your head, release tension in your neck and shoulders. It's a variation of camel pose. And we'll do a little stretch side to side. Hands to the back pockets, top of your throat, right below your chin. Pull the top of your throat and your lower ears towards the back of your skull. Pull your elbows towards the space behind you, towards your toe tips. Keep the inner thighs moving back, the tailbone rooting down. Curl up, up, up. Pal it back, lower ears back. Press through your fingertips right into your back pockets and try to elevate the base of the ribs, your sternum even as your tailbone roots towards the backs of your knees. Inhale, rise up. Ah, 
circle out your shoulders. Hmm. So we've used downward dog very sparingly in this practice. You're only one. Coming to all fours, tuck your toes, lift your knees, pause here for a moment. So it's not downward dog yet. <laughs> Come back. Hello. Arm bones into shoulders, root from the shoulders through the hands, push the hands down and forward. Try to keep your knees bent and lift your sit bones. Ah. Then you can extend even more from the heart through the arms. And maybe, maybe, maybe as the spine reaches up towards your sit bones, you might stretch through the backs of the legs. And the higher your armpits lift away from the floor, the more you might be able to get your heels down towards the floor. Most important thing here though, there's two things. One, that there's no tension in your neck, so soften. And two, that your sit bones remain really high. Hmm. Inhale to your knees. Bring your knees forward, have a seat. I'm going to mirror you, which means I'll do the opposite leg that I instruct. So you'll take your left leg and open it out. Keep the right leg bent on the shoelace side. And I do know that a lot of yogis need a blanket under their hips or Janu Shirshasana. So prop yourself up. And even if you don't need it, it doesn't hurt. Take your hands, manually expand straight leg back and wide. Bent leg, sit bone, inner thigh, back and wide. Hands behind you, sit up really tall and find a little curvature in your lower back. Press through the left heel and spread your toes. And take your left hand, place it to your knee and coax the energy up from your foot to your knee and you're literally pulling your leg into your hip socket more and at the same time you're going to turn the right lower belly so you frame your front left leg right hand to your outer shin ankle or baby toe press down through all parts that touch the earth and then really dive in nourishing breath And here's what I know. A lot of you see me that far down in the pose, but your body actually needs to be up here. So yoga for stress reduction is about not trying to push the envelope to hundred percent and really backing off and being sweet, being kind, being kind of gentle. Inhale, rise up, catch the straight leg knee, pull it in. Pick up your hips, set them down. Lean to your left, stretch out the right leg. Pull the left leg in. Use your hands. Expand straight right leg back and wide. Bent left leg, hip back and wide. Hands behind, lift up tall, top of the throat. Can you firm your lower belly with exhale and then expand into your breath with inhale? Right hand to the leg, gently pull. It's like you're pulling on energy tights and you're gonna shorten that leg as you square your hips and fold. If it's more uh, authentic to you to fold more in an open, way so that your back and your hips and your neck and your breath and everything inside you can actually relax please do that and if you really want to go into a deeper experience of yourself try to keep the elbows lifting forward and wide so your upper back your heart space 
can help your lower back find some tension relief. Mm. One more sweet, loving, kind breath. Inhale, it rises up. Catch the straight leg, pull it in. We didn't start your sequence today with the centering practice, and I did that on purpose. You know, a lot of times when we're not feeling so grounded and peaceful, we need to move before we can find center. And that may not be a traditional route, but it's a technique that I use a lot. So right here in this moment, you might be more available to um, being peaceful and grounded. And bow your hands to your heart. Thank you for practicing. Thank you for showing up for yourself. And I really do hope that I get to see you at Kripalu in April. Myself, Jacqueline Prete, and Julia Pering will be teaching Ignite Your Vitality. And I'd love to see you there. I'd love to practice with you and share more tools on how to uh, relieve the tension in your life and open up the beauty. Let it flow. There's so much good going on. Namaste, my friends. Big love, big peace.